first one is Electra. Electra. Um, when I think of Electra, I think of her boobs. She always did this thing where she would put her arms up and she could make her boobs. <laughs> 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 but Donna was sweet. I, I really got along with her. Um, she was fun. And um, her, her New York accent got me every time. I loved hearing her. <laughs> so she, she's, she's a lot of fun. I heard she works for Disney now. So hopefully I'll bump into her somewhere. As well. What does she I think she's of? working at one of the hotels or something. Right, I was thinking like as one of the princesses, like on the hourly. No, I want to be the evil queen. Like that's <laughs> what I'm lobbying for. But I think she works at one of the um, one of the uh, hotels down there. Okay, uh, Kimona, wanna layer? Kimona, I hung out with her a couple times. She was a sweet girl. She was very young when she came in. I think she was like 19 years old. Um, and uh, yeah, she stayed. She was with us for a while, and then I know she went to WCW and did her thing as lay, lay in the Owl, I think they called her or mm. something. Um, but I think she, you know, she was a cute as a button, cute little thing. She was like four feet tall. Um, <laughs> she, she was sweet. I, I didn't have any problems with her. Uh, Peaches. Uh, is that Laurie Fullington? Yeah, 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 yeah. I loved Laurie. Yeah, Laurie was great. Um, I... Did I get, I think I got to work. Yeah. I got to work with her once at the arena and I think I had to give her like a DDT or something. Um, but yeah, she was great. Um, I wish I could have worked with her more. Mm. Yeah. Some, she was a nice lady. Here's, here's one that I never saw. And I've only seen like a couple of pictures. Uh, Miss Patricia. Yeah. I, I liked her too. Um, she, uh, she was the meanie babe. So she worked with, she was the Blue Meanies uh, valet for a while. Mm -hmm. And um, I didn't have a problem with her either. She was really nice. She didn't stay very long, um, but I got along with her and uh, she was sweet. Uh, I've switched up who's going to be the last one here. So I'll skip this person. I'll move on to the next one. Uh, did you know Nancy Sullivan, woman? I did. Uh, well, yeah. I did. Um, when I first started, like Nancy was the girl. She was like the girl in the locker room, the woman. Um, hence her name, woman. <laughs> um, I only got to work once with her, and I think she got to cane me that night. <laughs> but um, she was uh, she was funny and sweet, and um, she liked to drink. So by the time we would do our promos, she'd be like singing Frank Sinatra songs, and <laughs> she she'd be in a world of her own. Uh, but yeah, Nan Nancy was a, she was a nice lady, you know. Um, I, I again, I wish I got to work with her more than I did. And I don't know if you have this person on the list. I'm just going to say it right now, Sherry Martell. No, um, I don't. I okay. don't. Okay, so Sherry was my everything. Like she was my favorite favorite person in wrestling not even female like my favorite person like I loved her and my character I wanted to be like Sherry but I wanted to be sexy like Nancy and I put those two together and that's I came up with me yeah. um little little tidbits I would watch but I got to meet Sherry one time and it was the last night that she was in ECW and she grabs me and she says oh you got long hair we're gonna we're going to get in that ring and we're going to grab each other's hair. We're going to roll around. And we're going to do all this stuff together. And I was just so excited because I was like, I get to work with Sherry Martell, like awesome. And then she starts telling me all these stories and she's telling me that she went to Japan and she drank the whole flight. And then by the time she got to Japan, she was drunk as hell and she doesn't even remember the match. And then I got scared because I was just like, is that what's going to happen with me when we work together? Are you going to be super drunk? But she was super nice. And then, like when I got there the next week, they were like, oh, she works for WCW now. She's with Harlem Heat. And I was like, no, <laughs> she was supposed <laughs> to work with me. And I never got to work with her. But I am so grateful that I got to yeah. meet her and talk to her. So I um, yeah. I, I, I asked uh, somebody else recently who uh, knew her oh. in the 90s in WCW, uh, Carl Willette, PCO. And um, oh, yeah. Uh, yeah, and, and he said, uh, I mentioned Sherry Martel to him. And he went, crazy, wild. She would get naked <laughs> anywhere. <laughs> oh, well, I didn't see her get naked, but, um, you know, I it, it doesn't surprise me. <laughs> I was just like, you, you go, girl, seriously. Yeah, Anytime. Exactly. <laughs> um, uh, I'll do a few more. Nicole Bass. Oh, Nicole Bass. Um, I tried to help Nicole as much as I could. Um, I, she didn't get it. She... When she first got here, she was so used to like the bodybuilding, you know what I mean? And like the, the, um, like, I remember we were in the car and she didn't feel like she had to pay 
for anything. Like she thought that she should have all of her expenses paid for like right away, no paying dues, no, no anything. Um, and I was trying to explain to her like, no, no, this isn't bodybuilding. And she's like, well, in bodybuilding, they would send me a, a car and they would pick me up with a car. And, and now I have to go rent a car and all this. And I was like, well, that's the way it is here, you know? Um, and then she, she wanted all of us to like, remember everybody's spots so we can all help each other. And I was like, no, Nicole, you just remember your spots because that's the boys will remember their spots and you remember yours. I don't think she understood, you know what I mean? Like she didn't really get the business. Um, but, and, and every time somebody would, it was Halloween and we, every time somebody would see a picture of Frankenstein, they would just look at her and go, ho, ho, ho. And she would get so mad. <laughs> she would get so mad. <laughs> it was her own fault. I mean, she made herself look like that in the first place. She didn't have to. <laughs> Well, I, I don't know. She, she, she had a, she had a good heart. Um, I just, I feel like, I, I just feel like she didn't really understand, uh, what the business was about. So. Okay. Um, as we are a bit tight for time, I'll give you three more and we shall, uh, I shall ask you for your plugs and we shall call it a day. Um, I will give you Lita. Oh, she, she was fun to work with. She, she wasn't there too long when she first came to us. Um, she didn't have much experience. I think she was like wrestling maybe in Puerto Rico for a while or Mexico yeah, or Mexico, something like I think, that. Yeah. Mexico. Yeah. Um, but she, you know, she came in and her character was hysterical. I mean, she's clipping toenails on, uh, she would clip her toenails on camera and uh, Miss Congeniality was the gimmick that she was given. Um, so I worked with her a couple of times and, and she was fun. And then when I see her now, we give each other a hug and, and stuff like that. So it's, yeah, she's, I'm, I'm happy for her success. Um, uh, penultimate Bueller. I know you were, and was she your first match Bueller or was this televised at least? That was my first angle. Um, it was, uh, Beulah and I, and we were sort of married. And when I say that, I mean, we worked together for the whole time that sh she was in the company because then she left and then I had to move on. But I mean, for three years, it was just her and I, you know, and, and we would do a couple things on the side, but I think they loved seeing her and I together. And, um, cause we were the two OGs that started the whole cat fight wars and um she was always great to work with and um the cat fights were uh not realistic looking because we would we would just laugh the whole time that we were doing it uh but she was a pleasure and uh the end one uh there was actually two uh it, i'll give you two you can talk about either one either tammy sitch or jenna jameson oh okay so tammy uh love loved working with her i still talk to her to this day i think we're do we're we are doing wrestlecade together in november um she's still a good friend she was at my wedding um and everybody warned me about her how awful she was but she wasn't and she's been a, a friend of mine for over 20 years and i i love her um still love her and jenna jamison i i talked to a little bit uh we both had gotten tattoos not together um, but we had just prior gotten tattoos, like before the show we were, I remember we were showing each other our tattoos and stuff. It's not like um, the same tattoo. You like, no, it's friends not the forever same sort of thing. No. <laughs> we did not get each other's initials on her. <laughs> I, I had gotten one, a bunch of us went out, I got one and then she had one. She's like, Oh, look at mine. And I was like, Oh, cool. And, um, that was pretty much it. So, um, I don't really know her, but I don't have anything bad to say about her. Uh, well, you've got matching tattoos and you've got a story to share with it, but, um. Don't have matching tattoos, but we <laughs> each have a tattoo. <laughs> you've got tattoos that don't match, but you got them at the same time. So they're like kindred tattoo spirits or. <laughs> okay. Let's call no, it that, that, shall we?